Hello students and how are you doing? Part of your CRCT test is mastering dictionary skills. In the following presentation you will see what is a dictionary and how a dictionary is organized. You will also see examples that put to use definitions used in the dictionary. I hope you enjoy the presentation. How is a dictionary organized? Dictionaries are books that list all of the words in a language. To make dictionaries easier to use, the words are organized in alphabetical order. So to use a dictionary easily, you must know how to alphabetize words. Since there are so many words in a dictionary, guide words are used to help you locate a word quickly. What are guide words? Guide words are found at the top of each page. They tell you the first and last word that is found on that page. How do guide words help you find a word quickly? Instead of looking at each word on a page, which would take forever, you just look at the guide words and then use what you know about alphabetizing words to decide if your word will be found on that page. Let's see what that means. Let's pretend we are looking up the word science. First we return to the S section. Then we will use the guide words and what we know about alphabetizing words to decide the correct page in the S section. We will look at the guide words at the top of each page and decide between which ones our word will come in alphabetical order. Let's do that for the word science. Which one of these pages will contain the word science? Which page will contain the word science? Would it be the page that has the guide word stamp and summer or the page that has the guide word sandwich and 70? If you guess the second one, it is correct. The word science will be found on the page that has sandwich and 70 on it. Dictionary definitions, what do they mean? Have you ever looked up the definition for a word in the dictionary? If so, then you might have been confused by some of the parts of that definition. Today we're going to learn what each part of a definition means. This is a definition for flag. You see the word flag. One, it is a noun, a piece of cloth with a pattern or symbol of a country, an organization, etc. Number two, a verb, to stop or to signal. We flag down the police officer. The word being defined is followed by the pronunciation in parentheses. That is the pronunciation of the word flag. The first word tells the words part of speech. As you see, the word flag can be used as a noun and a verb. The next section is the actual definition of the word. The first definition is the definition if flag was to be used as a noun. The second definition is the definition if it was to be used as a verb. Finally, you might see a sentence showing how the word is used, especially if the use is not the most common for the word. So you see a sentence is used for the verb form of flag. Let's see what you've learned. Mischief. Mischief is a noun. It is playful behavior that may cause annoyance or harm to others. My brother is always up to some sort of mischief. Book. Book could be a noun and a verb. The noun, a set of pages that are bound together. The verb, to arrange for something ahead of time. We've booked a vacation in Mexico. Ready. I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation. Now in the following video clip, you will actually see how to use a dictionary. A dictionary is pretty much used to look up unfamiliar words that you guys do not know the meaning to. So please pay attention to the following video clip. When you're reading or researching a topic, you may encounter unfamiliar words. The dictionary is a good place to find the meanings or definitions of these words. When you look up a word in the dictionary, you can learn the pronunciation and meaning of the word. You can find out whether it's a noun or verb or some other part of speech. You can also learn the word's origin or the language that the word originally comes from. While you're watching this story about the mummies of ancient Egypt, 
Listen for unfamiliar words. A mummy is a body of a person or animal that has been preserved for many years. The word mummies often refers to the ancient burials in Egypt. Egyptians wrapped the mummies in linen and painted them with natural resins or a tar-like substance. Researching a mummy reveals clues to that person's life and culture. Clothing and tattoos show how the people looked and what kinds of materials were used for clothing. Stomach contents show what they ate. These clues reveal the status or class of the person or show what the person did for a living. Although many people and even some animals were mummified, those that were most carefully protected were pharaohs or kings in ancient Egypt. Only one pharaoh's tomb has been discovered intact, that of Tutankhamun, known today as King Tut. Scientists know from studying Tut's mummy that he was probably around 18 years old when he died. The mummy of Tutankhamun was kept in a solid gold sarcophagus. His tomb was also filled with paintings, furniture, weapons, games, and other artifacts that give us a glimpse into the life of an ancient pharaoh. Now that we have learned about mummies in ancient Egypt, let's take a closer look at the unfamiliar words that were heard and look them up in the dictionary. The report said that the mummy of Tutankhamun was found in a golden S A R C O P H A G U S. First, let's find out how to pronounce that word. It's pronounced sarcophagus. Now, let's find out what sarcophagus means. A sarcophagus is a stone coffin decorated with a sculpture or inscriptions. That means that the mummy of Tutankhamun was found in a coffin. Because he was king, his was made of gold. Let's find out what else we can learn about this word. Next to the word sarcophagus is a lowercase n. In some dictionaries, the part of speech is labeled with one letter. The N indicates that the word sarcophagus is a noun. There are two correct plural forms of sarcophagus, sarcophagi and sarcophaguses. So if there are two of them, it would be correct to say either two sarcophagi or two sarcophaguses. Below the definition, you'll find the origin. The origin of sarcophagus is Greek. The abbreviation sin stands for synonym. So another word for sarcophagus is coffin. When you look up a word in the dictionary, you can learn the pronunciation and meaning of a word, the word's part of speech, and its origin. Look up this word in the dictionary. H-I-E-R-O-G-L-Y-P-H-I-C-S. Find out how to pronounce the word and what the word means. Also, find out what part of speech it is and what language it originates from. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and the video. If you have any questions on mastering dictionary skills, please come by the Media Center and ask me. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.